Hey there, Explomination. This is Rob from Explominate, and I'm here today with a game called Parkitect, which is a game I think that people are going to like. It is the very ga first game that we've done in our System Scan series, which is going to be an objective look at various strategy games, whether they be strategic games, city builders, theme park builders, tactics games, whatever. We look at them objectively to see what their game mechanics are like, and then at the very end, we do a subjective analysis of how well they mesh together. And they're going to be short, they're going to be like kind of like mini reviews, but Parkitect is one of our first, and we wanted to kind of take a look at it now that it's got the Taste of Adventure expansion pack. And part of the System Skin article series is also going to be incorporating videos, and so I wanted to make a video and show you guys what this game is all about. Quite frankly, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit, so I wanted to show it off and show you guys what you might like about it. And if you are like a roller coaster tycoon fan from back in the day, or even like a planet coaster fan, this is going to appeal to you, I'm sure of it. But let's go ahead. I love this music. It's so cool. It's like folksy. It's super high, you know, high tempo. It's fun. It makes me want to play games or dance. I don't know. Maybe both. So let's go ahead and play new park. We're going to come down to the Maple Meadows Park, and we're going to go ahead and start. It was one of the first parks that you build in the, the scenario, the campaign scenario. So it's pretty simple. And what I want to do first is take some dirt paths here. We're just going to make the dirt paths because they'll look the same as this other path here. I'm going to build out my path. I'm going to here. And then I'm going to make a big old, big old square. And let's go ahead and build some concession stands. What do you say? Let's go ahead and put some burgers here. Everybody likes burgers. And everybody likes corn dogs. At least I like corn dogs. I don't care if you like them. I like them. And with those, we're going to go ahead and build a soft drinks shop. There we go. And we got to offer, offer some dessert. So now we've got that going. And you can see that they're not supplied. So we're going to need to to bring on some people, right? So we come over here. We add some haulers because they're going to carry resources from the... Uh, the like supply depot over here to all the, the different shops. So let's hire a couple. Hire two. There you go. And we will need janitors, of course. Oh, we have one. Okay, good. All right. So we don't need the janitor just yet. Hopefully, it doesn't get too crazy too fast. Nope. Go away. Go away. All right. There we go. So these haulers are going to start bringing supplies over to these shops. And we'll start getting that going. And then let's let's as we go along go along, we're gonna go ahead and work on some of our aesthetics here. We will ooh, banana leaf tree. How cute. We'll build some trees. Let's go over here to the trees. Ah, blobby tree. It is a big ass tree, I'll tell you what. But we're gonna build it. There we go. Add some cute little blobby trees. And there we go. We'll also add maybe some fountains at the beginning, kind of just welcoming people to this fantastic park that they're walking into. There you go. That's cute, right? And we also need to consider the fact that they will need people will need to pee and do the number two. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're gonna do our toilets, but they're gonna they're gonna be away from the the general population, right? We want to keep them kind of away because people don't like seeing them so here we go we have some toilets over here we might put some toilets over there too depending on how many people we get and how quickly they start coming but let's talk about rides we're gonna start off small we have a lot of rides here so throughout the campaign they are slowly introduced as you do like a scenario here or just like a one-off free-for-all playthrough um, a lot of them are already provided to you that don't get provided to you as the campaign starts like it's cool that it slowly introduces you kind of helps you understand what rides do what and what people like but let's start with something kind of easy and generic what do you say so we're gonna build it right here we've given it a little spot right there actually we'll do it right there and then what you need to do is set up an entry point so we're gonna set up our entry point actually let's take a look we'll do Ooh, I don't like how it's doing that I don't want to go there I want the entry point to be facing that way, but I don't know if I can change it. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then the exit point is going to be right here. 
and we're going to go ahead and build a queue line now. So it'll be also a dirt path to kind of keep our aesthetic going. There we go. All right. And in the meantime, we're going to build some flowers, maybe? Flowers look pretty. We'll do some flower boxes. Just to make it look super pretty. I like it. So aesthetics are a big, big part of this game. You definitely want to make your park look pretty to the average person. Let's go ahead and open this thing up too, by the way. Go ahead and click it open, and we'll get some people coming. So now we've got our first little merry-go-round set up, and I like it a lot. We're going to use some more of the dirt paths here and bring it down over to here. Come back over this way, and then back over this way. I like how the trees, I love it. There's just cute little things like that. The trees, every time I plop down some more, some more paths here, they all fly around like they've been chucked. All right, so as you can see, the out of stock mm, bubbles, yeah, I'll call them bubbles. They're going away as they're getting stocked, as the loaders are moving their stuff. So the haulers, I'm sorry. All right, let's build something else over here. So the goal of this scenario is to gain 200 people, gain 200 patrons. So we're gonna do our best to make sure that they that we do that. Um, 40 Semina, Semina, Cinema. <laughs> yeah, I can say that, I really can. That is, we're gonna hold off on that. We're gonna do something a little bit more, yeah, we'll, we'll do a, the waves. Oh, sorry, what's it called? Looks like it's probably too big. So we're gonna come back over here and just do like a regular Ferris wheel. How about that? We'll do a regular Ferris wheel. We're gonna build it right here. No, we're gonna come over here. Try to keep things over here. So we'll do it right there. We're going to go. Oh. No, that's not the best place for it. So maybe we build it that way and they come out this. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna go ahead and take that, build our queue back over this way. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I can do that, cool, all right. We can come back over here, and there we go. And then our exit, I guess, we didn't actually get the chance to do our exit because I was too busy with my... So we're gonna come back over here, and where's the exit? Exit will be right here, perfect. Okay, and maybe we can do some things to make it pretty as well. Tulip patches, yeah. I think that'd be great. Let's do tulip patches. Yeah, take them. Take them. Take all those tulips. Take them. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so very pretty, right? And we will go ahead and make that open as well. Open that bad boy. There we go. There we go. So we've got a nice little queue going. So we've got six guests on the ride, three in the queue. And sure enough, we'll have some people here eventually. Let's take a look see what our ticket prices look like. Maybe that's part of the problem. No, it's only $1, so we're good. All right, we need to do some things that maybe people are a little bit more excited about. How about that? So let's take a look at some of the thrill rides here. The clockwork. Uh, maybe we do something more like the Gravitron for our first, our first thrill ride. So we're gonna build it. Move you, move you, move your son. We're gonna make it start here. We'll have them exit that way, and we will come out and do another queue, and it'll come out this way. There we go, and we will fill that spot in there with some trees or something but let's go ahead and open that as well and open and let's build I'd say let's put some trees down uh, the blobby trees are a bit big furs are cute let's do furs and we've got two furs maybe we could do a little couple flowers there we go we'll do some flowers there too oh we could do tulip patches or just that do flower boxes flower boxes are pretty i think there we go i like it 
Maybe we do flower boxes a little bit down here too, but we also can maybe consider some benches. People want to sit, you know? I want to sit. So we'll do some benches over here too. I know they are somewhere. Where are you, benches? Oh, there they are. <laughs> They're in a different tab. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and build some benches. I like the wooden benches. They're kind of in line with my aesthetic here. So let's build a bench there, build a bench there, build a bench there. And then we need to also possibly do some trash bins around the place. So we'll do a trash bin here and a trash bin there. And we definitely need to do some trash bins over here, right? Because there's people going to be eating over here. We'll do one right there. There we go. All right. Very good. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Overview, our attractions look pretty good. We've got 12 guests on the Ferris wheel. Wow. And everything looks pretty good over there as well. Okay. Let's also consider what we want. Oh, that's right. Research is disabled because we're in a different spot. So here we go. We have our Maple Meadows. We can take a look at our opinions. It looks like the park entrance fee is a good deal. But our satisfaction is only 50%, which sucks. It's not great. So we have at least 200 guests in the park. We, need, we have 27. All right. So we're gaining people, but we're not gaining them fast enough. Let's do something about that. Let's... Perhaps. Hmm, what can we do? Let's go ahead and continue to build more thrill rides. Or we could do a coaster. And we could do coasters by either developing them ourselves or actually using prefab. Pre so we can load a, a blueprint, basically. So let's go ahead and do something a little bit simple first. Like. Um, not the junior coaster, that's a bit. So let's do the wooden coaster, because it's the cheapest. And maybe we will build the Brownstown Bluff by Lord... Oh my good lord! No, we won't do that one. Alright, let's do the mini loop by Happy Co. There we go. That's a little bit more of my speed right now. So we will go ahead and do that one. And it looks cute, it looks fun. Let's go ahead and build out some lines here. We'll build a queue line for this. Or maybe we come back out this way. Yeah, let's do that. Because I have a feeling this might be a pretty big... Nope, I don't want to do that. Take it away! I'm going to just do a normal path out this, out this one. There we go. And let's go ahead and let it, let it fly. Let the people come. And that should get us some good places. We'll also build, since we have one bathroom all the way over here, or over on the other side, let's go ahead and build one over here too. So we'll do a toilet right there. And we'll kind of obscure it a little bit with some trees. People don't like looking at that thing, you know? They don't like looking at it. No one wants to see a poop. No, oh, what am I, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that? I meant to move it. There we go. All right, so we're going to Build a tree here. Build a tree here. And one more. Yeah. All right. So we've got trees that are kind of obscuring. Well, maybe not obscuring it too well, but obscuring it decently. We need to do some more stuff to make it prettier here. Yeah, let's, let's put some dead trees down. <laughs> People are going to love that. All right. Uh, leafy tree, spooky tree. And it's raining. That sucks. Let's do some lighting, because it does look like my park is a little bit dark. So I believe we can pull up some lamps here. And we'll go ahead and do our best to... Yeah, it looks like they used this lamp elsewhere, so we'll do that. Here we go. Some lamps all around this hizzy. <laughs> uh, let's do... Oh, that one's right there is good. And one right there. I don't want people to be scared, you know? So we'll go ahead and put more lamps places. Alright, so there we go. Got some lamps. Got some stuff going on. People do not like the thunderstorm. Not letting new guests on the ride until a thunderstorm is over. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Nobody wants to ride a Ferris wheel when it's thundering out there anyways, unless you're cray. All right, so let's take a look and see how we're doing. We got three guests on that ride, which is not that great. Wonder why it's only three. So we can take a look. Oh, we can change the colors, by the way, which I think is great. Let's change the car color to blue instead of that weird stuff. Maybe like a, an Explorminate blue. There we go. I like it. And the tracks can be an Explorminate blue too. Oh no, wait. We'll, we'll make those white. The post white. But then we'll make the rails a blue. Actually, those can be... Those can be like a, a red? Yeah, we'll do red. And then... This will be our blue. There we go. All right. And let's take some other, we'll, we'll do some more calm rides. We'll bring out some more people that want to do other stuff. Maybe we'll do the motion simulator. This can be a fun little thing right here. Actually, you know what we can do? We can do the rides here, maybe. No, I think we're going to need more space. All right, let's take a look and see what we can do here. I think we can do it right there. All right, there we go. And your exit can be right here. And we will take our queue line and build it this way. There we go. And go ahead and open it. We'll also put a little flower pot right there. That'll make it look pretty. Actually, let's do some rocks. Rocks will look cool. Let's build a rock right there. Boom. <laughs> I like it. All right. It's a weird looking rock. It's a weird spot to put a rock, but I like it. We can also do some topiary here so we can do maybe some... Oh, these don't fill the whole thing, and I'm so awful at making them look good, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see. What we got? Some fog. Ooh, look at that. We got jumping fountains. That's cool. It's probably better for somewhere that has more like water water type rides. Wow, I did not expect the motion simulator to be so popular. So it looks like we do we do our people want more chill rides as well. So this has gotten a lot more popular. Seven guests here. But they definitely seem to like the chill rides a little bit more. So let's take a look and see what we can do here. First of all, I'd like to fill in some of these areas here. It kind of looks a little bland. We'll do some... Ooh, willow trees are pretty. I like willow trees. Let's do a willow tree here, and maybe a willow tree... Here! There we go. There we go, there we go. Alright, so we're looking wooded. We're very, looking very wooded over there. Someone's screaming in delight. That's always a good thing. So let's do something more. What can we do more? I don't see any trash anywhere, so that's good. We got our one gender doing his job. Although I might want to go ahead and add an entertainer. Let's do that. There we go. Go do your thing, buddy. And we can also take a look and see how we're doing with people. So we've got 81 guests now. Very good. So we're doing pretty good. We're up to 69% satisfaction, which is fantastic. How's our money looking? We're down to 18,000. We're losing $276 a month. So we could increase this ever so slightly since people seem to think it's a good deal. And we can also look to see how much it is per ride. So the funny thing is here, oh wow, seriously? They're paying zero dollars? No, that can't happen. But yeah, the funny thing is you, you pay an entrance fee and then you have to pay to be on each ride. <laughs> I would be so mad if this was real life. But that's the way this world is. Wow, seriously, I'm surprised by how how popular this ride is. So let's look and see what we can do as far as another maybe calm ride as they call them. Ghost Mansion ride? That sounds awesome. You know what, let's go back to it. Actually, I didn't realize that it can be 
Yes, there are some here. See something that maybe isn't too expensive, the mini spook. Wow, that is that is way larger than I expected. But you know what? It could be the main attraction. We'll do that. We use it as our main attraction here. And it looks like that's the entrance, I believe. It didn't come with an entrance and exit. So let's actually, you know what? We'll come back. We'll try. Because usually you can click on it. All right, click, 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 click. All right, there we go. So we have our entrance. Where's our entrance? It doesn't matter. That's weird. I guess that is the... Okay. Huh. So it looks clear to me that this looks like the entrance since there's already a line there. So we'll go ahead and build a queue to that spot. There we go. And then we'll build just a regular path out this. There we go. And we'll go ahead and open it up, see what people think. Or did I do it the wrong way? I totally did it the wrong way, didn't I? Oh wow, cool, just sit in the hedge there, that's fine. <laughs> Crazies. Wow, they're sitting in the hedges. Clearly, whoever designed this put benches in the hedges, which is fine. Alright. Cool. That looks pretty cool. I'm excited by that. Let's make it a little bit more spooky over here. So we're going to go ahead and do some effects. We'll do some smoke emitters. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Freakiness. Very good. All right. So it's smoky over there, and we might do some like spooky trees too. I think there's a couple spooky trees, like dead trees, yes. So we'll just do some dead trees over here. Ugh. And another dead tree or two over here. And there we go, we got our little spooky section of the, uh, the theme park here. All right, so let's take a look and see how we're doing. We've got... 125 guests, very good. We had 56 last time, and we're already at 73%. There are no high intensity rides around here that interest me. All right, so maybe we should do something about that. So we will take this path, we'll bring it out here, and give ourselves a little room to work with here. So let's go ahead and build something wild. You want some high intensity rides, do you? Maybe, maybe we do this one. This one looks pretty intense. Is that what you want? You want that? Yeah, that's what you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move you right there, please. And then we'll, yeah, we'll move the exit right there. And we'll take our cube. We'll build it right out that way. And we'll go ahead and open it. You want some some thriller rides? I got thriller rides for you. Yeah, of course, they're not going to be doing their thing right now because it's thunderstorming, but that's okay. I feel like we should add some aesthetic issues, or <laughs> aesthetic issues, aesthetic pleasing, aesthetically pleasing things over this way. Alright, so we got birch trees. Those are nice. There we go. Some birch trees. Those look pretty. I like them. In fact, I like them so much, I'm going to add another one right there. And then, all right, great. So people are already on my high thrill ride. Maybe I'll add another one. Although I'm running out of cash, and I'm also losing money. So we need to do something about the entrance, entrance fee, because people are still cool with it. So park entrance fee is a good deal. Still good with it. So let's go ahead and add an entrance or a little bit more money to this one. Why is it this one? It's hard to get that one to, to 18 in Q. Lord, that is a popular ride. I'm excited about that one. I mean, of course, you could go like super thematic, right? Like if you wanted to be, oh, carousel's broken, control failure. We need to make sure we have mechanics, which I know we have one. He's wondering about. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that he knows to be there. 
There we go. So Jeffrey Hunt is working on it. Very good. We'll go ahead and hire a second one because it would be really awful to have a second one break down right now while he's working on carousel. It looks like it's about to break. Oh, man. Don't explode, please. And let's take a look and see if there's maybe another thrill ride. We have we're still losing money, but I think we can get to 200 before before we <laughs> lose out all our money. So let's go ahead and look at the thrill rides here. The oh yes, the, the gyro drop tower. I feel like people. I, I mean, for me, this one freaks me out. <laughs> In real life, the real ones. Ugh, they're mean. Stomach is like in your throat. But let's do this. We're going to go ahead and make that one right there. And then do the same thing with our Q as we've been doing. And we'll go ahead and... Ooh, I can make this bigger? Yes, please. So let's go ahead and... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, lordy. That would, in real life, that would make my my entire body vomit. It would just be like one big vomit. All right, so we'll put a cute little fur right in front of it. Fur right there as well. Hopefully, people like my decor. It's not it's not the most considered or well thought out, but it does look pretty. I mean, this is a pretty looking thing. I like my little steam over here. Bet you people wouldn't like to have to walk all the way from over here to down here to pee though. So what we'll do is we can probably probably get away with doing a toilet over here. There you go. But we're doing pretty well. Okay, so we can I, I didn't realize this, but we can actually see our guest here. 184. We have six thousand dollars left. We're actually only losing ninety-five dollars now. And I believe it looks like we're actually making money over for the year. So we'll hang tight and not build anything more and see if we can go positive here. There we go. We're in the green. All right. So we're in the green with operating costs. Uh, but we immediately went back down. So the other stuff, which is wages. Okay, wages cost more than park admissions, so maybe we should do something about that. We're going to go up to $3. We'll see what people think. It's still, it's a good deal. The scenery here is amazing. People like my scenery. That makes me super happy. You guys out there probably don't, but I do. They do. That's all that matters. And let's go ahead and open our drop tower and make people vomit. They like this too. All right, we've completed our goal. We'll have 200 go guests in our park. That would be enough for me to have completed the mission in the campaign. We're gonna play for another few minutes and... Oh no, it looks like I've won, so I can't play anymore. It was fun, I wanna see this drop tower. I wanna see it. Let me do it, let me see it. I just wanna see these people like all their heads explode as they drop nine stories. But yeah, so this is Parkitect. As you can see, it's actually relatively easy to figure out. It's a hell of a lot of fun to play. And what I think really is the best part about it is how the campaign set up. Because it really does help you introduce yourself to the gameplay mechanics and the various rides and how they may you know, better affect your park and better draw people into your park. And I really like it. This game is a lot of fun. I've enjoyed just sort of sitting down and playing for a couple hours at a time and, you know, watching my people make my park look as pretty as I can make it, add new rides, watch people. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what this is going to be like. Are you guys ready? I don't think you're ready. You're never ready. You're never ready for it. Does it drop or does it just swing around? Some of them just swing around. I've realized that. There's been a few that I've realized I've seen recently where they just spin. But nope, that one drops. Yeah. Yeah. The real world ones where they're like 20 stories high. Man, I'll tell you what. I'm usually pretty good with 
theme park rides and <laughs> those things, uh, they get me. They get me every time. But like I said, this game is great. It's a fantastic game. Check out the system scan article. It's brief, but it just sort of lays out how this game plays. And if you haven't already kind of figured it out by watching my, my little Let's Play here, then you can read more about it, get some links there. And if you're any type of theme park builder fan, then you should already be playing this game. And shame on you. <laughs> but for those of you who may have been somewhat on the fence, hopefully this has given you a pretty good overview of what's going on, how the game is played. And again, the campaign is like some 20, 30 missions long, and you basically like work your way through various scenarios trying to create a good theme park. And a lot of them have different wind conditions and different things that you have to consider as you play through that campaign, as you play through the, what is this, recent negative news decreased the interest in theme parks. What? But yeah, so there's various like wind conditions and stuff like that that you'll have to consider when you get through the campaign. And sometimes, you know, you need to keep your aesthetics as high as it possibly can while you do everything. Like the scenery has to be amazing at all times for everybody. Or, you know, so, so on and so forth. So, and then the new stuff, the stuff that's come in with the, I think it's the Taste of Adventure, that's what it's called, the expansion pack. It's, it, it's just, there's so many cool things about this game. And like I said, you can be thematic, you can do like thematic areas of your park where over here could be like all the haunted stuff. And then you could do like some fairy island stuff over here and water flumes and every stuff, all that kind of stuff over here. And the game is great. And, you know, the aesthetic's clean enough and cute enough that it really doesn't... There's no way that this could offend anyone. If it does, then I don't know about you. But, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them in the comment section. Or you can come over to www.explominate.co. We've moved from Minette to Co. So we, uh, we welcome any questions or thoughts or comments. And if you've played it and you want to let us know what you think of it, please come on down and, and tell us what you think. But thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Rob from Explominate. Keep exploring.